that's the kind of point that we're making with these matchups and that we're trying to make with this series is we're going to point out to you historically why teams have made upsets. And a lot of the reasons why is their greatest strength. The other teams is usually the other team's greatest weakness. Mm -hmm. and the 76ers was greatest weakness was a mix of Trey young and the pick and roll. They weren't stopped to built to stop a guard like that. And a very consistent team facing off against a highly high output team with a lot of individual scores that are naturally going to have abnormally big games because in a seven game period, it's natural. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why that's why they pulled off this upset, Chris. What do you what do you have to say before we call it a day for this one? No, that's exactly why they pulled this upset because you mm -hmm. like like I, you know like I keep pushing the fact that when you have a team that just outscores mm -hmm. you. You know what yes. I mean? It's nothing you can do about it. You, you like, mm -hmm. yeah. We we mentioned, and I'm gonna just, this is the last, and I'm gonna just lose. You know what I think? What you say? It was they had uh, John Collins had 16, and then Gallinari had 15, or it was Bogdan had 16, and Gallinari had 15. Whichever one. That it was it was game three. Lou Williams had 15. Gallinari had 16. Yeah. What did the rest of the team look like? Because this is a team. Of highly skilled scores, you know, mm -hmm. so you yeah. have to think about. Yeah, these two guys went off, had a pretty good game, but what did the rest of the team look mm -hmm. like that game? Mm -hmm. You know, who was the high score in that game? Yeah, they mm -hmm. went off together. You know, had a usual, but in the seven game series, they're either it's going to happen more often, especially because now you, they get used to the they get used to the defensive scheme because you're consistent. They know what you're mm -hmm. doing offensively. Now every game yeah. is going to be a lot differently. It's going. It's easier for okay. It's I'm gonna go off this game. Okay, you go off next mm -hmm. game. It's easier for that to happen mm -hmm. when you know what the line is, the potential of the other team. That's the line. Mm -hmm. When you know yeah. that, that's that this is as far as they can go. Mm -hmm. You know how yeah. to jump over that. It's yeah. easier. Yeah, I hundred percent agree with you, Chris and. This is what led to a, one of the greatest recent upsets in NBA history in the past, in that, that season. So, yeah, this is this is the point of this this series is what we're going to be we're going to be breaking this down for you guys fourteen times, fourteen different matchups, fourteen different teams, so you guys can really get because not every team has a bunch of scores like this. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different built teams and there's different reasons why teams win. So definitely want to keep on checking out this series as it keeps on dropping. And the next one, a little bit of the teaser. The next one is the Miami Heat. The five seed beat the one seed Milwaukee Bucks. They sweep them. Actually, no, it was 4-1, 2000, 